So here is a second gen body position trainer, second iteration and built out of a second gen SV. Uh, somebody asked for more details about it and I figured uh, it was kind of lost in a different video. So let me, um, let me tear through it a little bit. So two inch steel base, it has leg adjusters or like height adjusters on the legs so that if you're on an uneven floor or if it decides to pretzel itself, which it inevitably will eventually, uh, you can kind of adjust it so it doesn't rock back and forth. Pretty solid right now. Um, bunch of, well, caster wheels so it can stand up so I can roll it into a corner, which it inevitably happens because every every other day I would move the damn thing because there's really no meaningful place in the shop to have it. So it would always be rolled off into a corner somewhere. Um, otherwise, it's a whole bunch of second gen SV parts. So 2003 subframe and seat. Kind of, I am not a good welder by any means. Um, it's kind of uh, like pinned on there. The reason I used O3 is because it's steel. I can weld steel. I don't know how to weld aluminum. Um, there's a couple of axle spacers, I think, that are like the whole, there's holes drilled in the steel. And then there's an axle going through it all the way through, well, to like here to give it the back support. On the front, it's a uh, second gen front fairing stay that's similar setup with uh, axle spacers and an axle. And a second gen front fairing stay that is that has that axle hammered into it and hammered being the operative term and then is just like beefed up a little bit other next regular second gen clip-ons triples and formerly tweaked forks now cut off now the thing that makes it work and this might be a little hard to see um there's cables on the front triple and these cables go through the back and cross up underneath the bike don't ignore that nest of extra cable cross up underneath the bike and get hooked to these loops here and what that allows this thing to do is it allows it to counter steer so when i push the bar right the thing leans left just slightly you don't actually even need that much because you don't need that much lean what you need is just some kind of feedback from the device that what you're doing is causing a lean so i can control how much it leans over by steer by counter steering or and how much i can i can use it to work on body position and getting locked in and having my arms relaxed and um, so on. So by having this thing around, I can work on things like this. Um, yes, it's wiggly. Yes, it's kind of hammered together. But what it lets me do, if I want to, if I have a willing participant, is it lets me work with people on body position without having them do circles around parking lots and without having to have a herd of guys to tip the bike over or whatever other way people have done the whole static body position. You just put the student or your friend or whatever on the bike and tell them what you want them to do or drag them around by their body parts. So you can get them to lock in into the tank. By the way, this is one of those bikes where if you're not locked in with your outside leg, if you're using this like froggy style body position, you're gonna fall off. So the outside leg lock, very important on this bike. Um, otherwise you just end up on the ground. Uh, you know, just, something to mess around with i'm not a fabricator i'm not a i'm not a maker i am just a tinker and um 
I think the next time I'm tinkering, I'm going to back going back to using first gen parts because it was so much easier. It was somehow like significantly easier to use the first gen as the base for getting this done. Plus, first gens are kind of a dime a dozen for broken ones. And if I wanted all the raw materials to get one, to get one, another one of these made, I'd have to buy some steel, I'd have to buy some wheels, some cables. But otherwise, just buy a hammered first gen for like zero dollars. Like, well, that one's nice. But there's plenty of first gen SVs out there that cost basically nothing. And I could uh, do into that. So... Yeah, there's the body position trainer, in case whoever was interested is still interested.